Hello, all my YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's blog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to give you some updates on my vintage stereo equipment and see what I actually added to the system itself. But we're going to be doing uh, some cleaning on three CD players with one of these. If you don't know what this is, it's a uh, CD-ROM cleaner for old-fashioned computers, but I use this uh, multiple times to clean the lasers inside of this unit without actual taking them apart and using what we now call to actual clean the gunk off of the laser itself. But the best way is to take it apart and use the rubbing alcohol. Now this is all it looks like. Just a standard uh, CD. And see that little thing there? That's your cleaning uh, brush. But let's go ahead and get into it. And let's go. look like anything has changed but it has I actually added a known uh, CD player to the vintage equipment we got uh, here a record player a receiver switch box Bluetooth uh, tape uh, player DVD uh, CD player and CD player and two floor speakers and two uh, bookshelf speakers. Now, this is important. We gotta make sure you clean your system or your CD arms and stuff. I'm just gonna choose one. Doesn't matter which one you use. As long as you take your cleaner disc and you put it in whatever one we have. It doesn't matter. I have like three of them. Now, of course, it does have a bit of uh, dust on it, but that's okay. I can actually clean that as well. Uh, what the heck is this one? There's this one. Just gonna let that load up, and we're gonna give you a close shot of my stereo system. Welcome, all my new subscribers. If you want to see the stereo system, I'm going to show you what it all looks like and what I actually have changed on this system previously from the past uh, years I have this system. I'm going to show you the different brands and the different names of each uh, equipment I own. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, we're going to start off with this uh, tone table. Let's see, here's the name. That's the name right there. Below it here is my Toshiba Stereo Receiver. you curious on what the name of it is and model, that is right there. Coming down below, here we have the old school switch box. That's what controls everything. And of course, this is my Rocket Fish. Bluetooth music receiver. This is what I use to connect my Bluetooth devices. And over here is the tape player tape deck. Dual. One's a player. One's a recorder. And here is the DVD player. There's the name. This is only a three uh, disc player. It works perfectly fine. Here you have a used uh, Sony five disc player. It's a very awesome unit. And of course down here is the very picky magma box. It likes to order this sometimes. Now of course here is my Pioneer speakers. That's the right there. I have both sets. Maybe that set. That set over there. And of course here's this one. Alright, now it's time to clean one of my uh, CD players on my stereo equipment. 
And I'm going to show you how to clean these. So very simple to clean. All you do is you open it up like this. Good, see, we have a clean with this in here. This is what I'm using to clean the uh, CDI. See, that's just a little ripple though. That's your clean old. But it's not music, it's not a whole lot on this uh, CD. But it's actually meant for CD laser eyes from old computers back in the day. But I keep that around for a whole lot of reasons because I like to clean these sometimes. But you can actually take them apart and clean them manually if you choose. But that's totally up to you. But I don't really like to monkey around with these too much. Now we're going to hit the play button. And hopefully it's going to start cleaning. But there you go. It's cleaning the eye. On this old Sony player. Sometimes it may have some issues, but I'm going to take a look on why it's the skipping and stuff, but sometimes the old, old units can do that sometimes. They just don't adjust right to the CD arm cleaner, I guess. Alrighty then. Now, taking care of your equipment is a very good idea to keep it lasting for a very long time. Now, because of my equipment being this old, and it's outdated, but do I have to go out and buy new equipment? Nah, not really. I know how much one of these will cost. One of these receivables. They're like the expensive. All these here, all these separated components, are like the expensive. That's why I have these three items right here. DVD player, two CD players, and I can listen to my CDs, or my iPod by Bluetooth, or even uh, the tapes as well, or even the old uh, analog radio. But it's important to have one of these just to clean them, or you don't constantly uh, take them apart. Uh, you can do that if you want, but I don't recommend it. But can I add any more stereo equipment to my existing equipment? Uh, no. She's all maxed out to the peak. Oh, inputs and everything is all full uh, on this uh, receiver and also on the actual switch box. But everything does work perfectly fine. So I'm not going to play any music to actually show you how it actually sounds. But I really do like it a lot. But, alright. If you guys are going to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like. Please share. Peace out. Bye guys and girls. Well, we see you in the next vlog. Have fun with your stereo equipment.